Yes, uh, yelling out, not my president. I'm sure that's very encouraging for the enemies of this country to see them all. But you have to start blaming the news media for this. I mean, here you have ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, MSNBC, the New York Times, every comedian, every actor, all 100% against Donald Trump. Okay? So, of course, these people are brainwashed. Uh, they don't know any better. But here's the funny thing about this now. Um, who is going to be our ally against all of these uh, enemies of the United States of America? Where, uh, you know, people must understand that Europe is finished now. You understand? Europe, yeah, okay. Yeah, Europe is finished as a military ally. So who do we have left? We had Russia. But now, because the liberals don't like Russia anymore, because they are not a strict, atheistic, socialistic country, we're against them. Where, back in the day, the liberals used to be for the Soviet Union. So how do you explain this? You hear that? No KKK, no fascist USA. Right? These little kids over here getting all that from their professors in college, you know, where they totally get brainwashed and, and uh, get degrees that are not worth anything. But here they are demonstrating, you know, here they say no KK, no fascist USA, but then they use fascist tactics to get their way. In other words, why are all the networks, all the comedians, everybody, all 100% liberal? Why are all the professors 100% liberal? Why? Because if you're not like-minded with atheistic socialism, you don't get hired and you don't get promoted. But these people don't care. They're going to just keep marching and everything. You know, you wonder why they're not in work today. Because they're probably on the dole, half of them here. Now, here's the contradiction with all of this uh, liberalism here. There's some kind of direct uh, contradictions here. First of all, you know, the political correctness encompasses the uh, gay community and the, the Muslim community. If you, if you say something bad against Muslims, um, you would be like, wrong. Now, here's the thing about this uh, political correctness. Um, of course, the, you know, the, uh, the gays are protected under political correctness and also uh, Muslims are, cor uh, are protected under political correctness. If you say something bad against Muslims, uh, you're automatically uh, classified as a bigot. But in most Muslim countries, homosexuality is against the law, punishable by death. And also these women here. You know, they're all, uh, you know, don't they realize that women lose all their rights in uh, these countries? But what I want to talk about is the illegal immigration. Now, this is what you have to understand. It's about numbers. It's not about race. Every country has laws against illegal immigration. The thing is, though, these countries south of the border are dumping all their poor, uneducated people here. And we're allowing it because they vote Democrat when they cheat on the election. So the whole point about letting all those illegals in is just so Democrats can get elected. They don't care about you. You see all these people, you know, they don't really know what's going on. They've been brainwashed in college by ripped off by the college professors. Uh, with, with subject matter that uh, it's not going to get them any kind of schooling or, 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 or a good job. But they don't care about that. You see, this is all, this is all social. You understand? If you don't adhere to the political correct agenda, you get ostracized. But these people are committing suicide. They don't realize it. The more you bring in the illegals, the more poor people in this country don't get work. And they all get on the dole. When are they going to wake up? But they don't care, see, with their little signs. Aren't they all cute? No, 
no Dakota pipeline, full of quality or fight. Yeah, okay, where do those Muslims take over? See what kind of quality you're going to have, you know? Yes, uh, but the media and the universities are against Trump, and that's all these people have to know. Well, here we are, all the protestings against uh, Donald Trump, who is the elected president of the United States of America. Now, here is, here is what is very interesting. I wonder if any of you people start to consider that how the enemies of the United States of America are looking at your actions. Huh? You got that crazy guy in North Korea building a nuclear bomb that can hit the United States of America who's already been de demonstrated on TV. You have Iran whose military chants every day death to America. Of course, then we have ISIS and all the rest of, of, of the uh, enemies of the United States. I mean, don't you realize that? So how do they get away with it? They have created their own godless religion, liberalism, that uses uh, political correctness to intimidate and control the uh, useful idiots. I mean, you can see it everywhere. You know, the most common expression now, if you disagree with anything they say, is that you must watch Fox News. I don't even have Fox News. I don't have cable. I can't afford it. But this is what you have to be aware of. So I'm just throwing this out to you just to appeal to your common sense. Be very suspicious of anything you see on the media. If it defies your common sense, investigate it because you may be right. Okay. So please leave comments and uh, whatever, all right? And you have a good day.